back to the Measures of Success Video Practice Buddy Series. I'm Dr. Deb. We are so glad that you're starting to get a good sound in your horn. Keep practicing. We know it'll get better and better and better with time and practice. In this session, we're going to help you to get a good sound on your horn by articulating using the tongue to cleanly begin those sounds. So let's try something before we even involve the instrument. We'd like you to take a deep breath. Janie's, Janie's going to help you with this. Take a deep breath, and when you exhale, use your tongue to pretend you're saying two. Now, we're really not going to say the word two. Just start the word two using that T sound. Watch Danny do this for you. She's going to take a deep breath, and then she's going to articulate. Great, Danny. Try it one more time so they can see you do it again. Good. Let's try that together. You go ahead and do this right along with Jenny. Here we go. Big breath. One, two, ready, go. Do it again. Here we go. Great. Now, we're going to do the same thing. This time we're going to use the mouthpiece. So Jenny's going to take her mouthpiece, and so should you. And watch and listen to her as she checks her embouchure. She's going to take a big breath and she's going to buzz into the mouthpiece using the two sound. Nice. Listen to Jenny do that again. Here we go. Great. Good. Now let's, why don't you do that right along with Jenny? Get your mouthpiece, big breath. Here we go. One more time. Ready, play. Excellent. Now go ahead and put your mouthpiece on the horn. We're going to try the exact same thing, this time using the whole horn. Okay. And in order to do this, let's, first, let's learn the first note in your book, and we'll use that for this exercise. Don't worry about reading the music. Just listen and try to do everything that Jenny is doing. The first note in your book is an A, and it's played using first and second vowels. If you were playing a double horn, you'd use a trigger, but we won't use a trigger for right now because most of you are probably using single horn, so just one and two, okay? And now, with good posture, you're going to bring the horn to you, just like Janie is, and you're going to create a good embouchure, and when your embouchure is set, we're going to blow and make a good sound, this time without the tongue. First of all, without the tongue. Are you ready? Here we go. Breathe in. Big breath. <gasps> Nice. Do it one more time. Remember, without the tongue first. Here we go. Great. If you need more practice with that, go ahead and pause the video right here. Try doing it a few more times and then turn the video back on and we'll be right back here waiting for you. This time, let's do the same thing, but we're going to add the tongue. Listen and watch Janie and she'll do it first for you. Here we go. Beautiful. Try one more time, Jenny. Great. Now it's your turn to do it right along with Jenny. Here we go. Ready? Again. One, two, ready, play. Terrific. Let's do four times in a row now. Listen and watch Jenny first. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. Time, listen to Jenny. Go. Okay, your turn. Play right along with Jenny. Your embouchure set. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. One more time. Ready, play. Nice job, everybody. That'll take some practice, but after a short while, it'll become very, very easy to you. Very second nature. The next Measures of Success video practice buddy for the horn focuses on long tones, so be sure to check that out. And now, on behalf of everyone here at FJH Music and Jenny, I'm Dr. Deb. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>